It's time for Koalities Craft Your Scraps. Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts. And today is Wednesday, and you know what that means. That means we're going to do another five-minute card. So meet me down at the table, and let's get started. All right, today I decided to go with just a regular card base again. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I've set my alarm for five minutes, and I've picked out from that bag of scraps I keep hanging around. I'll give you a little gander at it real quick. This bag of scraps that I have that I continue to use from, I pulled out all, everything black and white that I could find. We're going to go all black and white today. So let's get started. Okay. I don't know, for a second there, I thought that I didn't have my... I thought that the camera wasn't going. I don't know why. But I've got a couple of these that I pre-made and I never used them for anything. So I consider that a scrap. Because they're just in this bag full of junk that I've got laying around. So I'm going to utilize one of these. I think this one looks pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and start laying stuff down. And hopefully we'll come out with something that's kind of cool and unique looking and has lots of layers. I also have a black piece of paper underneath here. And I also have, oh, the old bubble technique. Look at that. That's cool. It, uh, it doesn't quite reach all the way across. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut a piece of this down, excuse me, um, to four and a quarter so I can make it go across. And, and I'll cut it down a little bit more like that oh my gosh that one doesn't quite fit either I wonder if this card is just a little bit wider than it should be that's odd well let's go with the thinner one then in that case we'll just wing it put this straight across. Boy, I really wish that it would have ended up on either side, but you know what? Here's a tip, tip you could use. Just take a marker that you have. You know what would be better is if I had my... There it is. I thought my husband took it for a second. Um, just use a permanent marker and go along the side. There. Ta-da! Perfect matched paper. I love it. I got a little on the inside, I think. That's okay. We're running out of time quickly, aren't we? Down to three minutes. I think this would look really cool in there. So let's cut a slice off of that. I'm going to cut two slices, actually, because I want to have that centerpiece. I thought that would be kind of cool. Because this one had a little bit more white in the middle of it. And that's neat. Where are we at here? Two minutes and... 30 seconds or so. And then we can put that across there. That's cool. This is really neat paper too. What if we added a little bit of that just for the fun of it? Let me pull out this one. So we can slice that down pretty small. I think I have to cut off some of it. It doesn't quite fit. I'll just go with that. Almost cut it in half, just about. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to put a piece of tape right down the middle and make it overlap here. And where's my other piece? Oh, I left it on the cutter. Ah, one minute and 30 seconds. We don't have much time left. Okay. I have another camera to my right that I keep tripping over the darn wire. So let's get rid of those. That's kind of cool. I do have a couple of flowers and things here that that could really go well. And I think I have, yeah, I do have more than one. So that would be fun. Let's pop dot those up. I need a pop dot. Uh-oh. I don't know where my pop foam went. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. No problems. We're down to a minute. So we really need to get this on here. 
and I don't have a sentiment today, but we could probably add one after the fact on the inside of the card or wherever. I was kind of hoping that maybe we could add in some of that, but it didn't work out. So where do I want these? Let's put them like, you know, catty corner from each other. And then I want the blacks of those centers to be really black. So I'm going to color them in to pull out that black behind it. Yeah, that looks really cool. I wanted to put on some of this, but I just don't think we're going to have time. <clears throat> nope. Just not enough time to add more, guys. Shucks. But we did get quite a few layers on there, and it is all black and white, and the, the um, patterns don't match, but it still looks really cool. I like the look of that. So if you guys enjoy this series, um, encourage me in the comments below. And if you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see you guys next video.